Hi, welcome back to another episode in my silversmithing series and today I will be talking about my soldering tools and what I have. If you have any questions at all, remember to leave a comment and subscribe if you're interested in this subject. So yeah, let's get started! So I will start by mentioning probably the most important thing that you have to have if you are soldering and that will be mask and googles, mask and googles, <laughs> because you know obviously you have to protect your face, you don't want anything to get near your eyes, your mouth, nose, you know, you just you have to be safe, that's important. <laughs> so for soldering of course you will need solder and I've got three different types of solder. There's different solder that you can get. I have, uh, mine is um, in a shape of like a flat uh, wire. So I, I got a hard solder, medium solder and easy solder. So yeah, solder is what uh, basically will connect all your joints and everything that you want to connect. For um, solder to flow, you will need flux and I'm using a um, borax cone and a borax cone dish. So I will add some water inside the dish and then I will just move the cone around and I will create um, a flux inside, um, like a paste. It will be like a white-ish paste and I will apply with a little um, brush um, where I want to solder something. So that's how it works. A uh, very important thing, um, if you're done soldering, remember to put your cone down like that or just put it outside of the dish. Um, many times I left it just, you know, standing in the dish and when it dries off, it sticks to the dish so then it's just quite hard to remove it and it might cause breaking. If it sticks, you can put some water inside and then just gently, you know, try to move it around um, and it should come off. Mine did and didn't break, so that's just a little tip. And now moving on to second most important part when it comes to soldering, that would be a torch. Um, so that's my torch. I've got one by Dremel. I am very happy with it. It's just a small butane um, hand torch. You could use it in the kitchen as well. Um, it's pretty strong. I'm yeah. I've been working with it so far, and I was able to solder uh, everything. Um, the only thing is that sometimes you have to fill it up while you're working. If you forget to do it earlier, you might just find yourself soldering something, and you realize ugh, well realize that your flame is getting smaller and you have to fill up your torch with the gas. Uh, but that's that's the only thing. Um, I could feel that it's not as powerful as the proper torch would be um, and it sometimes takes a bit longer to heat up the peas and just, you know, solder. Absolutely enough. And if you're starting out, you don't need anything else than this. I paid for my torch 35 pounds 99 pence on Amazon and it came in the packaging like that and inside there was like a you know nice little box inside um, there's a little like, um, manual and some little uh, bits and pieces that you can use with your torch I haven't been using any of those but you could <laughs> if you want to I've seen on Amazon, for example, there were some torches for about um, even 13.99, 17 something. Uh, do your research, read the comments, ask questions and see if any of those would be suitable for your needs. But uh, the one I, I have, um, you're paying basically for um, quality. So, yeah. To work with torch, you have you need soldering blocks because you need to direct your um, flame at something. So that's just the safest thing. But there's tons of different things online and in the shop, so you can just browse and choose whatever would be the best for you. Um, I also got a tripod, and it made my life much easier. This just really helps you to heat up 
the piece correctly and you know avoid any mistakes. Tweezers and soldering stick, tweezers. Um, that's what that's your hands when you're working uh, when you're soldering. I only have two tweezers. Uh, one brass tweezers and one um, soldering stick. I didn't need more, so I'm assuming that this is the, the basic what you need to work with something and as long as you are not doing any very particular jobs you probably don't need more. Brass tweezers are perfect when you're putting things into pickling solution because you shouldn't dip other tweezers in there. Um, so definitely get that. And also they are very fine at the end, so I really like how like thin and fine they are, so you can move your um, soldering pieces around. And I forgot to mention that this is something you might want to get, and the sooner you get it, the better. Um, it might seem like something not necessarily, but it's gonna really make your life much easier. It's a third hand, um, so you, you attach your tweezers here, and yeah, it's just very handy tool. It will hold everything for you in one place. It will work like your third hand. And if you have any tricky um, bits that you want to keep together while soldering and you don't want it to you know, break or anything, get a wire. A wire will help you to keep it all um, in one place together. Yeah, it just makes things easier. Remove it before you put it in a pickling solution, that's all. In terms of pickling solution, I have another video about that, so make sure you check that out. I will link it in the description box below. It's a DIY solution, very safe, very cheap, so um, definitely something to get you started. <laughs> So that's everything I got for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something new. If you have any questions at all, remember to leave them in the, uh, in the comment section below and I will be happy to answer. And yeah, I'm so happy that there is more and more of you here. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe because there will be more videos like that and also tutorials are coming your way. So um, yeah, again, thanks so much for watching. Take care and see you in the next one. Bye.